You want to know, you want God to show you what is holiness, right? Uh, you just don't want to form a godliness and deny the power. Amen. And that's what a lot of people in the church have. They have a form of godliness, but they're denying the power thereof. Amen. That means they act godly, they talk godly, but there ain't no God in them. It's a form. It's a fashion. It's an outside show. Without an inside connection to Jesus. Amen. So Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 24. If you have it, say amen. 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 Go ahead, missionary. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 24. We can know. Ephesians 4, 24. Uh-huh. And that you put on the new man. And that you put on the new man. Thank Christ. Now, the put on the new man. Let's see how we put it on. Because I want you to have a clear understanding of holiness. If you're going to put on the new man, it's the new nature. It's the God nature. It's the born again nature. Now, let's go back up a little bit to verse 20. Okay, Amen. Let's so, so we can have clarity. So we can understand. Okay. Amen. Yes. But you have that soul, Lord Christ. You hear that? The put on the new man, you got to learn Christ. You got to learn Christ. The put on the new man, what brings holiness, you gotta learn Christ. Amen. How could you be holy don't know Christ? Amen. How do you how could you be holy and don't know Christ? Because the holiness is not coming from you, the holiness is coming from him. Go ahead, read. from Christ, heard of Christ and has been taught by Christ as the truth is in Jesus you can't find it outside, no. it's only in Jesus it is not in religion it is not in religion it is not in religion but the truth is in Jesus so take religion out of it Amen. hallelujah and put Jesus the truth is in Jesus that you put off concerning the form Now, hold it right there. That you put off. To put on, you gotta first put off. So what what give you the capability to put off is when you've been learning, been taught the truth, then you put away a lie. Amen. You'll stop lying. Amen. And you tell the truth. Amen. Every man. One to another. Amen. Go ahead. That you put off concerning your former conduct. That you put off your, your, your what? Former conduct. What that means? Former the former. Living. The former. Behavior. Behavior. So once you come and learn Christ, you, your behavior also is going to be changed. Amen. So holiness is not just the outside, it's having a good behavior, a Amen. godly Hallelujah. behavior. Holiness is not a word that we use and say I'm holy and have a have a nasty behavior, nasty no, attitude. Let me, let that is holiness. No. It's not holiness. That is not Christ-like. Holiness is being like Christ. Amen. Read. Uh -huh. Grows corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Uh huh. And be renewed in the spirit. And be renewed in the spirit of, of your, your mind. mind. Amen. You see, you have taken off the old man right? and you put on the new one. You've been renewed in the spirit of the mind. So, what really renew the spirit of the mind is the word of God. God yeah. The word of God renew your spirit, the spirit of your mind. Right. Amen. The word of Christ renew the spirit the of your mind. So now the spirit of your mind is renewed. Amen. 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 By the word of God. Amen. Read. And that you put on the new man. That you, you hear that? That you put on the new man. Which was created. Which was created. According to God. In true righteousness. And holiness. Come on, somebody. That means that, amen, has been what? It used the word created. 
not make. So true holiness must be created. Amen. True holiness must be created in righteousness. He says in righteousness right. and true holiness. So there's a there's a form of holiness, but it's not the true holiness. You see what I'm saying? The true holiness only comes from Christ Jesus. Amen. That's why you have to put on Christ if you're gonna live a life of holiness. You gotta put on Christ. And if you try to live a life of holiness outside of Christ, then now you are trying to do it by your own righteousness. And let me tell you what your righteousness means. That's what Isaiah. Yes, 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 let me show you what our righteousness was before we was in Christ Jesus. Isaiah 64 verse 6. Isaiah 64 verse 6. Isaiah 64 verse 6. Go ahead, read. Just need a holiness, amen, without Christ Jesus. You got to put on the nature of God in order to operate in the spirit of God, the nature of God. You got to be born again. And born again by a new nature. You are born again by a new nature, a spiritual nature, a God nature. That's why he says in true holiness, true holiness, created in true holiness. He didn't say make. He said, create it in true holiness. So this holiness got to come from God. Because only God can create a true holiness in you. Amen. Only Jesus Christ can create a true holiness in you. Because once you take on him, you take on true holiness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You take on true holiness. Yes. Glory be to God. True holiness. Once you put on him, you put on holiness. Amen. Let's go to First Peter, the third chapter, and verse 18. First Peter, the third chapter, and verse 18. First Peter, the third chapter, and verse 18. If you have it, say amen. Let's speak to the third chapter, verse 18, and it read. <coughs> Go ahead. reconcile us, amen, and make us become holy is what Christ Jesus already did. It was all the doing of Christ Jesus. It was nothing you do. So holiness didn't come from you. Holiness come from God. And without accepting what Jesus Christ did, amen, on the cross, you can never live a lifestyle of holiness. Because holiness is putting on a new nature. It's having a new nature, a God nature. Amen. Because the God we serve is holy. Yes, amen. amen. In Hebrews 12, he says, Be ye holy as I am holy, without which no man shall see the Lord. 
be ye holy as I am holy. If you can be holy, that means he's got to be living in you. Amen? If you can be righteous, the righteous one must live in you Amen. in order for you to be righteous. Amen. Beside the righteousness that comes from God, beside that righteousness, there's another righteousness that we call self-righteousness. That's your part. And, 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 and we'll come short because our righteousness is like filthy right. Amen. Self-righteousness is you trying to make yourself righteous okay, without accepting what Jesus Christ already did on the, on, 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 on the cross. Okay. Accepting his righteousness. Amen. Accepting his holiness. Okay. And so you don't have to work for his holiness. You just have to receive it. You got to work for this. You can receive it. Somebody say holiness. Holiness. See, without rich, no man, no woman, no girl, no boy can't see the Lord. Hallelujah. So now we, are, we have to live our lifestyle of holiness. And the way we live it is to understand what is holiness. Amen. That's how you know it. That's how you know if you live in a lifestyle of holiness is to understand what is holiness. From a God point of view. Amen. Not from a religious point of view because we got plenty of religion that they confess that they're holy and they don't back up the character the Christ liking they don't operate like Christ they have not taken on his character so when you look at them so how come they're not lining up to the Bible but yet they say they're holy if you are holy you ought to be lining up to the word Yes, sir. Your life should be able to point to Jesus. They should be able to identify that you are the disciple of God. Without you even telling them you are saved. Amen. When you must behave yourself outside of church or outside of the meeting place. But where you will carry holiness everywhere you go. Because you got the nature of God Amen. living on the inside of you. Amen. So you have no choice but to be holy because I got his nature. Amen. I mean, amen. He's given me his nature, his nature so I can walk before him be holy. Don't have to be ashamed. Now, let's go to Hebrews 10, verse 5 through 9. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5 through 9. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 5 to 9. You have it seen now. Go ahead, read. Verse 5. Therefore, uh -huh. when he came into the world, mm -hmm. he said, Sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Reconcile us to God. To redeem us from sin and reconcile us from, to God. Once a person is reconciled to God, that person automatically starts to live holy. Because that person has the nature of God 
that preaching has been created in the nature of God. When a person now starts to automatically take on the God character and start to live a holy life based on the scriptures. Amen? Based on the scriptures. Hallelujah. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 2. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 and verse 2. If you have it, say amen. amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 2 and it reads, So what, what, how do you live a life of holiness is through sanctification. So to sanctify now, when you are sanctified, you are set apart in Christ Jesus for the, for the working of God and God alone. Did you fast 40 days for that? No. Did you fast 50 days for that? No. It has nothing to do with you. I'm not saying you must not fast. Yes, we are to fast and pray, but we are to know what to fast for. Amen. Salvation was all Jesus. Amen. And not you. You, you. you didn't have no part in that. You are a receiver. Amen. <laughs> you already, all you need to do is receive what God already did. Amen. Go ahead. in Christ Jesus called to be saints. Not religion. Amen. Not religious. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Read. With all who is with all who in every place uh -huh. call on the name of Jesus Christ. You hear that? you got to be in Christ. It is Christ that sanctifies you. Once a person accepts Jesus Christ as Lord, sanctification, salvation, sanctification. Amen. You thought you, you thought you do the cleaning. No. You can't clean yourself. You cannot clean yourself. If you going to clean yourself, then Jesus will not die on the cross to clean you. You can do it. He'll let you do it by yourself. You can do it. We couldn't do it. So everything about holiness has to do with Jesus Christ living in you. Amen. It's not you. It's not you. It is Christ that living in you enable you to live a holy life. Amen. Let's go to Isaiah 6. Was one to five. Isaiah chapter six, verse one, verse one to five. If you haven't seen that, Isaiah chapter six, verse one to five. And read. Uh-huh. 
Mm -hmm. With two covering his face. Uh, amen. With, with two, he covered his feet. Mm -hmm. And with two, he, he fled. And one cried to another mm -hmm. and said, mm -hmm. Holy, holy, holy. Hallelujah. Is the Lord of so who holy? Hallelujah. So how you get holy? You got to put on him. Once you put on Christ, you put on holiness. Amen. The angel cried one to another and said, holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The, the, the word Lord means, it comes from the word landlord, means owner, mean creator. Mean 